and Spotlight. And Krista, I'm coming for you too. Add Spotlight. And I'm going to drop off and I'm going to pass things over to Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Hi, ladies. This is the fun part. I love that I get to chat about makeup here tonight. I'm so excited to be joined by Christine, who happens to be um, a makeup artist as well and is going to bring the knowledge, which I think, Krista, you and I can probably both admit that we're not makeup <laughs> uh, experts. <laughs> um, but you don't have to be. Uh, I mean, obviously, what Caitlin said, I mean, I think all of us find a little bit of confidence in a little bit of makeup, whatever that means for you. For some, that's just concealer and mascara or whatever. Um, for me, that's a little bit more than that. I tend to like to have a little bit of everything. I just feel better when I've got some color and I just I just feel more confident. So we're going to walk you through our Flawless in 5 tonight, which is like our makeup basics bundle, which I think is a really great place to start for two reasons. Um, the first is because um, it's just nice to be able to swap everything out, right? So sometimes when we're thinking about making switches to safer, it's like, well, okay, you have to prioritize, right? You're not sure where to start. Um, and you just don't know, you know, um, you just don't know where to start. I think that with makeup, probably if we were being honest with ourselves, most of us, the makeup in our makeup drawer is a little older than it should be anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and maybe it's time to swap out, um, to swap out anyway. So switching over to safer, um, or switching over to this makeup bundle just sort of like gives you a nice clean slate. It gives you everything that you need to get, um, out the door or, not out the door anymore, <laughs> um, but getting fresh faced in the morning. Um, the other th the other reason is that um, by purchasing the bundle together, it's actually discounted by 22%, which is pretty amazing. So, I mean, everybody loves the deal. So ladies, shall we do our thing? We can. Um, <laughs> I brought a selection. I wasn't sure, Good. I mean, are you, are you team? Do skin or, or skin twin? These are the so choices. I'm, I'm a skin twin. I like more coverage in my foundation. Um, and actually, one of the reasons I love this foundation in particular is that it doesn't really feel like foundation. So I wasn't a foundation person before, but this one just feels like moisturizer, but it gives me like beautiful coverage. It just makes me feel way more um, like my skin is, is just in better shape. So I, I totally agree. Also, yeah. Okay. Well, so for oh, the, yeah. can I ask, can I add to that? So with yeah. the flawless in five, um, to my understanding, there's two types of foundation. So you've got your skin twin feather weight and you've yeah. got your dew skin tinted moisturizer, right? So for those who are new on this platform, um, they're probably wondering what's the difference between the two. So with foundation, it comes to, um, you know, personal preference, whether you want something with more coverage, or do you want something more of a sheer um, application where it does give out that dewy um, see through like sheer effect, not so heavy. So I found when I was testing it, when I was trying this twin featherweight foundation, um, you put it on your skin, which is great. I was telling Lindsay that Usually throughout, because we're Canadian, right? We tan in the summertime. We, we get lighter um, during the winter time. I usually have about two or three foundation colors, believe it or not, because we change throughout the whole year, right? And totally. I like matching, like matching whatever, like I'll, I'll, a color match. I'll add more darkness or whatever it is if I got more of a tan and just add to that. Um, and... Uh, Usually when I buy foundation, I'll buy the, that variation. So it's easier um, to color match because you don't want to have like a light skin winter color and then it's summertime, right? And you're forcing it to, to match your skin, right? Right, for sure. Um, so, and with also, sorry, with foundation, no, you want to um, color match on your skin. Some people, they'll use their hand and they think that's their color. It's not like we're, we're two totally different colors from your hands and your, your face. Right. And for foundations, that's usually liquid. Um, when you first apply it, 
because that's not your color. It takes a while for it to dry, right? So you can always color match like a little bit to see if it's too light, if it's too dark, whatever it is, and then do your thing. You'll, you'll know where you're heading. So that's what's great about this because there's lots of uh, coverage on this. And then this is more sheer. It's yeah. more of a sheer effect. And it has SPF, which is an SPF of 20, right? Yeah. And you'll, the do you'll keep going. <laughs> I was just going to say that the do skin, I think is like everyone's that. sort of, um, this one's great. I mean, so I wear it, um, all through like spring, summer, fall under right. my, under my skin twin, um, yeah. just for the SPF. Okay. Um, but it's, I think it's just like a beautiful little sheer amount of coverage, but then that SPF, which we all need, um, I mean, we're going to talk about anti-aging later. Um, yeah. sunscreen is your best defense. So don't, it is good. It is good. Now it does have an active ingredient of zinc oxide, which is 14%. They usually say that it's good in the sun for about a good two hours. Technically yeah. you're supposed to reapply this stuff. Of course. Every two of course. hours, yeah. depending how strong this sun, uh, the UVA and the UVB rays are. You also sure. notice that there's an expiry date on the crimp. And some people don't understand that. So when they see an expiry date, um, it's usually for people to understand how long to keep it on the shelf. If you haven't opened it, there's, I don't know if anyone's familiar with it, but you'll see like a little, oh, it's too bright. Do you see that like 12 months when it opens, yeah. that little symbol? So what, yeah. that what that means is that when you open it, it's 12 months from that date where this product is good for sure right so don't look at the you can look at the expired date but usually that just kind of gauges um how good it is just to leave it shelf for those you know keeping it in inventory yeah for sure um um yeah <laughs> you're looking okay. good girl i just i'm gonna so i'm gonna jump ahead and i'm gonna talk about so i did my i did my um um what's this called the concealer? creamy concealer yeah um me too I did you okay so yeah. I really love this concealer I think it does a beautiful job of offering like a ton of coverage but also not being cakey ever it's so hydrating it just like it sits beautifully on the skin I never get it um you know that cakey feeling where you start feeling like you're wearing a ton of makeup and everybody can see that you're wearing a lot of makeup mm -hmm. I don't get that at all with this one um, and then because I did my skin twin, I'm adding some color back into my face um, because I've sort of evened all of that out and I'm, at, I'm adding color back in. I'm using the blush in date. This is one of my absolute favorite colors. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uses I'm, date. <laughs> really? It's my favorite. Uh, um, sorbet or what are, I mean. Nectar. Nectar there's, is Yeah, gorgeous. those are popular ones. Yeah. Um, blush is one of those things though. I mean, Christine, you can weigh in, but I think that this one is totally critical to making you just look like you've got life back in your you've face. Got life. You yeah. feel happy. Like you look healthy. Absolutely. And like, you don't yeah. want to put too much of it because some people go crazy and they're, mm -hmm. <laughs> they look like a clown. So <laughs> be mindful uh as to where you place the powder blush on your, on your face and, and be mindful the type of brush that you're using as well. Cause like if it's nice and fluffy, it might go all over the place. If you got it like a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, at least you can. Uh, so, so this is our blush brush and it's an yes. angled, it's an angled brush. And yes. uh, so I literally like tap it into my palette yes. like this mm -hmm. and then tap it into the skin or like yeah. press it into the skin. So it's not, yeah, you're right. All so over the not, place. Like, over. Not, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes I feel like, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, you're good. You look really good. <laughs> it's true though. Like you totally come back to life with blush. Yeah, it, adds, okay. it, it really does add color. Christine, okay, so yeah, Lindsay's doing, doing a step that I don't do. <laughs> oh no, Krista, you have to. Okay, so this is no, one that you, like- Are you serious? Look. Yes, you still have to. I have the um, I have the gel, but okay. Okay, let's be real. I hardly ever use it. I'm gonna use it for you, ladies, right now. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just watching you, girls. So <laughs> I'm just talking. The, 
the brow I is one step that I totally used to skip. Um, I, and like so wrongly so because I have these like fine little Asian eyebrows that just like, they need all the help that they can get. Um, but I just didn't think that it was really for me, but you really do need them. They, um, lift your face, like a nice strong brow is going to lift your face, draw the eye upward. It gives you nice shape and definition. I mean, Christine, what do you think? It's true. Everybody um, needs to do the rest. Everybody right? needs to do it, whether it's just a little bit, um, just shaping your eye. Cause it really does shape your whole face, you know? Right. Um, I, I have never uh, used a brow pencil. Like never. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do it on you one Maybe day. Maybe I need to get one in the sale. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had this a, for demos. I'm like, here, everybody, you can get a brow gel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's really good. It really shapes your face. Okay. And then ev- I think everybody like mascara. I, I feel I like this is something. Is there anybody who doesn't um, at least have a mascara on hand for when they need those lashes? Um, so I'm using the volumizing we have volumizing and lengthening lengthening. yeah yeah I used volumizing too but I put lengthening here just to show yeah yeah the lengthening brush is super fine it's really great for getting into the base of your lashes it's um gonna give you lots of definition they're both beautiful and black um like the, the pigment is really strong. Mascara is one of those really dirty products. T- convention, like conventional uh, yeah. mascaras tend to be very dirty because of the way they get the matte black. Um, and ours is um, just beautiful and safe. It's not crazy. You're not going to get like crazy eyelashes from it, but it is a great hit of length for volume and color. Um, and one thing that I'll mention since we're talking, since I mentioned, um, safety here, um, all of our color cosmetics, I think one of the most important things to think about when choosing safer cosmetics is not even just about ingredients lists, which we talk about a lot in beauty counter land. Um, it's not even just about what's on the ingredient labels. It's also about the testing that companies are doing behind Mm -hmm. the scenes. So um, at Beauty Counter, we triple batch test or triple test every single batch of color cosmetics for um, heavy metals, for contaminants from the colorants. This is like, this is a big deal. I don't know. I don't know that there are any other companies that are doing that. We test the colorant before it gets sent to us. Um, We test it when it comes to us. And then before we release release a batch of mixed um, or finished product to customers, we test it again to make sure that the levels of heavy metals are complete or non-detect. So, I mean, that's next level in terms of safety and um, really like what, what makes the difference between us and other brands, I think. So like that, there some... this is, yeah, go for Sorry. it. No, I was just going to say in the chat, there were some questions about like mascara logistics. Um, oh yeah. I, I, my experience has been with my clients that have sensitivity. They've done well with this mascara. I mean, oh, good. Um, they, you know, there haven't been issues with like flaky or, you know, friends of mine that have issues with mascara, like they want to claw their eyes out and they have not had that feeling with this. So it's worth so trying. That so- was actually me. Can I just tell you guys something? My mother-in-law was suffering from sty eyes for like the past year or so. Wow. We couldn't figure it out. So she was really hesitant to buy the mascara. We convinced her to do it. And she hasn't had one sty eye since. So she thinks it was the mascara she was using. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it made a big difference. And she hasn't had one since. And it's been since like December. Wow. That is wow. And like, that's Amazing. something that makes you crazy. And you start to feel like I can't wear mascara. So um you know, if, if that's you or someone, you know, I think it's worth knowing that this is a mascara that you should try and know that beauty counter has like an amazing returns policy where, um, try it, like test, test anything out in your own bathroom, 60 days. If it is not for you, if it, if you're like, uh, this isn't for me, then send it back. Um, Mm -hmm. there's like a, a total, they want you to be happy. So I always say to people like, (laughs) it's worth it to try it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We definitely are we on to like lips? Because... Wow, look at oh, you. Oh, I moved on. Lips. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I did so it. I'm <laughs> catch up. 
Rosewood. <laughs> it's Rosewood. Look at that. I, I always say, like, I'm putting this on for you, and this is actually what I wear most of the time, but, like, I like Flawless and Five, but I love lipstick. Like... <laughs> <laughs> me too. I yeah. Me too. I know you do. I was like, why are you putting lip gloss on? You're supposed to be like, hi, and <laughs> I went for gloss tonight, but I still went for a bold color. Um, looks so good. So what I love about this makeup is that like it is buildable. It's beautiful. The pigments are so strong. Um, a little bit goes a long way, but it's also like you can you can have like just sort of a light everyday look with your SPF and just a little bit of mascara and that, and, you know, just um, keep it simple, but you can also glam it up. You can, you know, the colors are there. You can um, add in a liquid, add in an eyeliner or a bold lipstick or, um, you know, like a couple of different shades of blush and just sort of like up, up that makeup um, to whatever suits you. So that's our flawless in five. It definitely took more than five because we were yammering, but I think that that's um, a <laughs> pretty good summary. So Liz, I'm really glad that you ended on that note because I think you and I have had this conversation so many times where it's like, you know, I like good basic makeup. You like a little more bold and things like that. But at the end of the day, before ever discovering Beauty Counter, you had done a lot of trial and error and emphasis on error. <laughs> and I remember when you were first getting into our cosmetics, because let's face it, like clean cosmetics, people are like, mm, I might just keep my, you know what, or whatever. And like, don't get me wrong. If you have a lipstick that you love, then wear it, wear it. It's not about that. But for sure, I want to just put a spotlight on the fact that here is an opportunity. And Christine, you can speak to this. You're a makeup artist. You have tried <laughs> it all and you've given these, these products a good test. I'm um, just about the performance, right? So it, it comes down to like, if a product performs as well, if not better, and is meeting all of those like kind of, you know, needs. Yeah. Why not switch? Yeah, definitely could switch. You could definitely switch. You know, um, I was actually, when I did Allison's face um, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. I was actually impressed with the foundation itself um, and how much coverage it performed and how easy it was to work around her skin and uh even with the eyeshadows like the payoff was there right and uh she looked beautiful like at the when you see the before and the after it's like wow you look good <laughs> I like we have a celebrity makeup artist who is like known in the field for being one of the first to ditch her kit to switch to safer because she was just yeah. increasingly aware of like I love my craft and I'm like, this is my passion, but here I am putting all of these crazy ingredients on people. And she's like, no, nope, yeah. um, I'm going to set out to prove that cosmetics can be beautiful, high performing and still be good. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm appreciating the chat right now and all the consultants on this call because there's questions being asked and answered. all yeah. So this is like community in action right here. I love it. Um, if there's anything that we don't get to, maybe any of the consultants that are on the call, jump into the chat, answer the questions. If it's your guest, go for it. Cause it is hard to keep an eye on that. So can we all agree that Krista, Lindsay, you look beautiful. You look amazing. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Just so stunning. And I love, like, love that we have these cosmetics that just make us look and feel our best. So thank you for demoing them for everyone tonight. And Christine, thank oh, you. Oh, beautiful. We're going to be leaning on you more and more. Oh, okay. 